All right, so Brian Windhurst, he came out with a piece talking about how LeBron James is like destroying an organization like every four years. And I, I, I've always liked Brian Windhurst, you know, he, he just so you know, he came from um, well, the Cleveland area, you know, covering LeBron James for more than a decade. And I, I totally agree with it. You know, obviously he, he looked at LeBron James' track record, whereby, yeah, every four years he's destroying, <laughs> destroying a new organization. And obviously, you know, I'm from Cleveland and I, I love my Cavaliers, still do. I love my Heat, you know, what's up? But yeah, LeBron just tore the hearts out of not just Clevelanders, but, you know, Ohioans. Well, me, I was always very supportive of him just getting up and going where, you know, his heart led him, which was South Beach, taking his, taking his talents, talents to South Beach. So, obviously, Miami, yeah, and then Cleveland again. Destroyed that organization after four years. And then, of course, now the Los Angeles Lakers, all right? So then, of course... You look at that, and that's it is what it is, and that's that's a fact. He's been all over, but the, the reality is this, though: every single major, major superstar. Okay, well, even Kevin Durant. I was gonna say, I was just thinking about that too. Was other not not just you know what I was thinking about Michael Jordan, obviously. You know, he won the three championships, um, and then. Took off a little time and then came back, won three more. And that organization, you know, we know about the last dance, okay? So then you've got Larry Bird did the same thing. Same thing. He won some championships, destroyed that organization. Magic Johnson, he won, and then the organization just fell apart. Kobe Bryant, Shaq, the organization completely fell apart, both in, well, Orlando, L.A., and then, of course, Miami. So, we can see that as a bad thing, but hello. My point is, I'm thinking about this, is, well, the whole point of him coming to Cleveland, coming back, the whole point of him coming to, to Miami and coming back to Cleveland, well, he wanted to win a championship in Miami. He did it. He got one in Cleveland. And then, of course, he got one in L.A., which I said it's, that's all he's going to get, you know? <laughs> So the, the the thing is though here is like the people who've who've been successful, Michael Jordan. Now, okay, Tom Brady, yeah, he 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 made the New England Patriots. That's a good a good point there. Jim Brown after that. But what do you expect with 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 a person of that kind of talent? They're not gonna be around anymore and they're gonna you know, allegedly destroy the franchise. I'm thinking about the Detroit Pistons, yeah, duh. Joe Dumars, Isaiah Thomas, they can both be accused of that. And then, of course, you got Chauncey Billups, and then um, who was a small forward over there? Well, they had a few different guys. Of course, look, look at look at uh, Kevin Garnett and um, Paul Pierce. I wasn't just, you know, real quick time, but I'm just going through. You know, Alan Iverson, another one, because he played along with Carmelo Anthony, wherever he went. Yeah, Kevin Durant, Oklahoma City. They fell apart. He left. Golden State Warriors, as soon as he left. Everything fell apart over there, right? And then, of course... <clears throat> well, we'll see what happens with the New Jersey Nets, right? <laughs> I still call them New Jersey. But, the Brooklyn Nets. So, I'm going through all this stuff. Well, so what? I look at my life, okay? It just it is how it is, man. I I I I I should not be and cannot be an easy person to get along with. I run a tight ship. I expect success. Perfect health. Got a strict regimen, you know. Foods, people, not into friendship. Integrity, it's right. It starts with integrity. A lot of people just aren't into integrity. They don't care. A lot of people don't care about their bodies, being healthy, sexy, happy, peaceful, you know, peace 
all around everywhere you are, you know? So, okay, fine. Now LeBron James is destroying organizations every four years. That's, that's kind of the trajectory or, you know, pattern of winning, right? I mean, yeah, look, I, I, I like what Michael Jordan did with the Bulls and Tom Brady all that time with the New England Patriots. Drake Mammoth Smith. I'm thinking about teams, you know, teams who had one player that just stayed for all those years with, with that one team, you know, but even CEOs, you know, today, Jeffrey Bezos, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, of course you got Google right here, you know, and then of course you got Jack Welch, 20 years with GE. He made that company. What's more important, the, the, the franchise, the name, the, the racketeering group, or, or your you, you know? That's, that's an interesting one, you know? I, think, I, I really do think that you are more important than the organization, the team. <laughs> This is my closet back there. First time. I thought I'd do something different this time. I mean, I see all my videos on, on YouTube, and it's like, it's a background look like all the same all the time. We gotta try to get something different this time. 